there are those who have devoted their lives to attempting to answer the questions that nobody can answer, and many have succeeded. From revelations about strange tools for evolution found hidden within our genetic code to copious amounts of alcohol being scattered through space by a comet, it truly seems that there is no end to the capabilities of the most brilliant scientific minds of the day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into three recent discoveries and looking at the impact that they made on how we understand the world. A hidden code in our DNA found Our DNA is what allows us to be the distinctive and individual beings that we are, and is the driving force behind both the similarities and differences of each unique human. Because changes and random mutations within DNA are the driving forces behind both evolution and genetic diseases, researchers have spent countless dollars and hours attempting to uncover the mysteries hiding within the coding of our DNA. Studying mutations is a bit of a double-edged sword that has perplexed scientists for decades because of the paradoxical nature of evolution and disease. On one hand, mutations within the genetic coding material are typically detrimental to function and disrupt the normal flow of body systems, so how can certain mutations affect the individual in such a positive way that entirely new species can be generated over time? This is the question that has plagued scientists for years, but it seems that an answer has finally been proposed. Research led by Genez Yuli, a professor of molecular neuroscience with University College London, has suggested an answer at long last. The research team behind this revelation discovered a code hidden within the part of our genetic material known as repetitive genetic elements, which are DNA sequences that our cells can continually make many copies of. Over time, this repetition has included itself thousands of times in our genome, which is a phenomenon that is unique to the human species and has been shown to play a vital role in evolution. The repetitive elements can switch on and off, controlling which characteristics are presented in an individual, allowing for the slow, continual evolution of the species as favorable traits are selectively chosen and propagated. The code that the research team found within these repetitive genetic elements could help to explain how these pieces of DNA are used to mitigate the potential disruptions of genetic mutations that could be favorable to the species. It works as a sort of molecular balancing act of positive and negative forces, working through proteins to control whether mutations within repetitive elements remain and are slowly integrated into the DNA or are removed. If a mutation causes too much of the positive force, the negative force steps in and removes it, and vice versa. This complicated but harmonious process allows mutations to exist quietly in our genetic code harmlessly accumulating further mutations until the inherent code is slightly altered enough that the repetitive element takes on a meaningful function, thus furthering evolution. In contrast, a genetic disorder is a mutation that happens rapidly, disrupting body systems as the affected code can no longer optimally interact with the unaltered elements of the genetic material. This research is groundbreaking, as it helps to explain why evolution is such a long process occurring over an indefinitely long period of time. Our genes are not slowly changing in order to move towards evolution one code at a time, but rather operating under a facilitation and inhibition process that allows for fluid changes to be slowly integrated, providing that the balance between the associated genetic code is also present for maximum continued function. Despite the fact that the inherent mechanisms of disease and evolution are the same, researchers now understand a bit more about why evolution operates to effectively and successfully propel a species forward, while similar mutations occurring alone in an individual will result in discord and dysfunction. Ultramassive Black Holes One of the most mind-boggling elements of space is its sheer size. Not only does space itself stretch infinitely away from us in all directions, but the objects within the ever-expanding cosmos display proportionately massive sizes. And when it comes to large objects within the universe, generally black holes will take the prize. Black holes themselves were already almost unbelievably large, so when researchers discovered a class of black holes set apart from the rest by their even larger size, scientists could not believe it, dubbing them supermassive black holes. But it did not stop there. 
Now, there is an even larger class of this mysterious space phenomenon called ultramassive black holes that dwarves even the unbelievably huge supermassive black holes. But what are ultramassive black holes, and why are they just so massive? This is a question that researchers have been attempting to answer since the discovery of ultramassive black holes, but it is a question that does not have a simple answer. A video by Kurzgesagt aptly declared that ultramassive black holes are perhaps the largest single bodies that will ever exist, which is an incredibly strong statement considering the sheer size of the various objects in space. They are not just slightly larger than even supermassive black holes, they absolutely dwarf them, boasting masses billions upon billions larger than our own Sun. In fact, they are so large that they could easily fit multiple solar systems within them. Ton 618, the largest ultramassive black hole so far discovered, clocks in at 66 billion times the mass of the Sun, which is a number almost beyond comprehension. These black holes are usually found in the early days of our universe, when slightly different rules applied. But this presents a problem for astrophysicists. According to our timeline of the universe, there was simply not enough mass in these early stages to generate and fuel ultramassive black holes of such epic proportions. At this early stage in the universe formation, there were just the beginning spirals of galaxies with only a few stars interspersed among the swirling gas clouds, which was simply not enough matter to generate black holes dozens of times the mass of the Sun. In a word, ultramassive black holes should not exist and were formed under impossible circumstances. Despite the complexity of the circumstances, researchers had continued to attempt to solve the mystery of how these gargantuan structures were formed, but it seems that every time a theory is proposed, it is quickly disproven as yet another example of the unnatural element of such large black hole formation. For now, having discovered the presence of ultramassive black holes must suffice as researchers attempt to continue to peel back the layers behind how they could have ever formed in the first place. Researchers catch Comet Lovejoy giving away alcohol. When you think of alcohol, you might think of wild parties or breweries and rolling vineyards, but it is not likely that you immediately think of space. However, aptly named Comet Lovejoy was observed expelling large amounts of alcohol as it made its way through space in recordings taken by an international team of researchers. Although alcohol itself has many versions, Lovejoy was releasing ethyl alcohol, the very same type that gives adult beverages its kick. In fact, Nicholas Biver, the lead author of the paper announcing the astonishing discovery, said that we found that Comet Lovejoy was releasing as much alcohol as in at least 500 bottles of wine every second during its peak activity. And while that is certainly a mind-boggling amount of alcohol, that is not the only thing that Lovejoy left trailing through the sky in its wake. In fact, there were over 20 identified gaseous organic molecules that the researchers were able to identify, including glycol aldehyde, a simple sugar. So, beyond the fact that it makes for an interesting bit of trivia, why does it matter that a comet was flying through space spewing alcohol in its wake? The answer lies in the fact that researchers are constantly searching for clues as to how the universe formed into the infinitely varied mass of galaxies and planets that we know today. Observations of comets expelling molecules such as ethyl alcohol provide support for theories hypothesizing that comets could have been one of the key initial sources of the complex organic molecules that were necessary for life to appear on our planet and perhaps elsewhere in the universe as well. In fact, comets are essentially frozen time capsules from the early days of our universe that orbit well outside of the reach of the Sun. However, Occasionally, gravity proves too strong for one of these comets, such as Lovejoy, and it's drawn into the warmer space closer to the Sun, releasing molecules in its wake that researchers study in order to determine not only the comet's composition, but also what elements might have been present during the early days of the universe. These frozen bodies streaking through the sky likely act as refrigerators of sorts, preserving materials such as gas and dust from the formation of the solar system and the explosions of stars and the fact that Lovejoy contained a surprising amount of ethyl alcohol could provide substantial evidence for the fact that comets might have been a driving force behind the generation of early life forms.
But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.